everybody. Just want to make a short video this morning. I get into four o'clock. Me and uh, her three, yeah, four o'clock, four four forty-five or something like that. Me and Bob went out fishing last night after dark, and um, well, actually after school, I had to go get Danielle, and then go to the doctor for a three fifty appointment. And I got done, got my medicine. We went over here to Area One and went fishing for a few minutes, caught some brim. And then after eight o'clock, when I dropped John off, Danielle's boyfriend, I brought Danielle home. I got a few things and I headed on over to the river and we weren't there 15 minutes and Bob put one of them old green worms out there and caught a flathead. So I'm thinking it's going to be a good night. Man, we didn't catch another thing. Didn't have but a few, few bunks, but, uh, something was sure enough messing with the brim, but just wouldn't take it. So I'm shocked that, uh, we caught a flathead on a worm. You don't really catch flatheads on worms. But uh, Bob caught one. But I left it in some water. Like I said, I got home oh, 4 445 or something like that. Or 4.30. I know I talked to uh, Native Tears. I'd answered one of her messages when I got home. So it was about the time I got home when I talked to her. But uh. I set my alarm clock for 7.30 so I can get up and clean it because it was just, I was too tired, which I'm tired or not, I was then, but I wanted to make a video for y'all, show y'all, this thing weighed right at 11 pounds, or between 11 and 12 pounds, I'm not sure exactly, my scale, it's an older scale, it's, a, it's in with a, with fish grabbers and it's got a scale on it, so I've never really you know, I don't use it much. I use my digital scale, but I couldn't find my digital scale. I don't know what I did with it. Hoping it's in my my bag, but it was in my big toolbox. So I didn't want to dig it out last night. But, uh, yeah, that's going to make some a good little fish fry. What's up, buddy? You cold? No, you ain't getting on my lap. But anyway, I got a question for y'all out there to catfish. I'm just curious. I I, I do it both ways. But when y'all clean a big catfish, do y'all go ahead and cut the tail and let it bleed out? Or do you go ahead and just flay it up, then soak your meat to get all the blood out? But, uh, I don't think I've ever really asked anybody that. You know, I mean, I do with my fishing group and all that. I'll ask the kids, you know, because um, when I'm fishing on the river or the lake, I'll go ahead, if I catch a big one, going to put it in a cooler for have it for dinner. I'll go ahead and tie it up. And um, I'll let it bleed out. That's one of the reasons I got the the hook. Besides the tie ropes or my extension cords too during the summer or the winter. But I got them hooks on the side of my truck. I can dangle my fish from there. And just leave the tail, you know, where it don't get on my truck. But leave the tail way down and go ahead and cut the tail off. But, uh. Yeah, what do y'all do? <sighs> oh, it's too early in the morning. I am hurting so bad. I had to take medicine at four then I got to take it now but I wanted to make this video right quick you uh, know being I took it at four I don't want to take another one till about nine o'clock so I want to hear him clean it up and go take my medicine and lay back down for a few hours I got to go talk to somebody about a, a shelving unit that um it'll go down the wall so I could take out them these uh here let me show you these shelves I borrowed from a friend of mine. I can use them for the rest of my life. I just can't keep them because if I if they, if I own them, then I can sell them, and he, he don't want me to sell them. But uh, so that that one there for my knickknacks. You know, it's it's a double sided. You know, this one's for dishes, and I got a few knickknacks. That was for knickknacks, and then books and stuff. And that other one was for electronics over there. But uh. It, it just takes up, these three units takes up a lot of room. So these other shelving units, the ones that goes up against the wall, then it has the shelves out. If I can line this wall up here, that's what, 15 foot? Do this 10 foot over here. You know, do the back and maybe this front part. I ain't going to worry with what behind me. But if I can get the one whole side, 
it, well, there's a heater over there. I had to take it out of the wall. But if I could have the wall, one side, the back, and up front, it'll store all this stuff, plus all this stuff in totes that I got for sale. I'm just tired of it being a clutter. And, you know, I had some people drop off some stuff in my house, you know, back last year. You know, then I had stuff in my trailer. I just, you know, I got too many quarter items. I mean, I got a lot of stuff for a quarter. It just, I don't have enough shelving unit. So, if I can get one across my wall, so the store's closing down. She wants to get rid of all of it in the next couple of days, so I want to go see how cheap I can get it. If I can't, then I won't worry about it. I don't really sell it at the house that much anyway, but that stuff's always good to have. You know, even if I wasn't, didn't have a store at my house, that would be a good place to store, you know, my fishing stuff or, you know, camping stuff on the shelves. You know, but um, I got all the VCR tapes and all that I want to sell, and I don't like people always coming into my house, you know, being, I sleep in the living room, you know, I don't want people walking in and always, you know, knowing I sleep in the living room. I mean, I ain't, I ain't worried about it, but, uh, you know, when people go into your bedroom, you know, you might have your dresser, you know, you got your personal stuff. You know, people get nosy. Do you want to sell that? Or do you want to sell your TV? Like, I'm watching my TV. Why would I want to sell my TV? So, I'd rather have it all in one room. <sighs> but anyway, I just wanted to make this video. Show you all this uh, flathead. Man, this is going to be some good eating right here. kind of wish Bob would have took it and cleaned it for his family. But uh, what I'll end up doing is take it. And when I clean it, I'll cook it either tonight or tomorrow and uh we'll all go out fishing or whatever i'll cook it before we go fishing that way me danielle bob and his kids and his um his wife can eat it but i just wanted to share that with y'all y'all have a good day have a good saturday stay warm because i'm in shorts and i'm about to freeze that little bit of rain yesterday in the day before it cooled it off a lot here but y'all have a great saturday and um thanks everybody who follow me and watch all my videos and uh i really appreciate it but y'all have a good good day and god bless each one of y'all mm, bye